everyone. Welcome to Woodbridge, the best town around, and our annual celebration of Italian American heritage. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of this great town, and we're looking forward to another great year in this ceremony, as, which is uh, organized and run every year by Senator Joe Vitale behind me. Let me first start by asking Sophia to come on up and join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. She's here for her grandma. Okay, everybody please rise. And the flag is behind us here. Are we ready? I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Sophia. So without further ado, I'm going to turn this over to Senator Vitale, who, as I said, has put this uh, ceremony together for many, many years. He's our 19th district state senator for the last 25 years. He covers Woodbridge, Perth Amboy, South Amboy, Cerebral, and Carteret. Let's hear for Senator Vitale. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Sophia, for uh, helping us with the pledge. Uh, Sophia is also on my daughter's soccer team, and so she's a uh, great player, good kid, great family. Uh, thanks for coming out uh, this morning to, to recognize uh, Italian American Day, also known as Columbus Day, for a lot of us. Um, and so we, we, I think we, as a, and the mayor, thank you for hosting this, and to my staff, Crystal and others, for putting it together. Uh, the mayor has lots of flag raisings during the year to recognize all the different ethnic groups, uh, the different backgrounds we all have in the township, uh, and it makes it really special. I know especially we have the the uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade. Uh, we recognize uh, our Irish heritage here in this community. Uh, and today is kind of special in, a, in kind of a different kind of way. Uh, where our um, Italian American Woman of the Year, uh, Mary Natal, uh, is also Irish. And so last year she received the Irish Woman of the Year Award. And this year she's getting the Italian American Woman of the Year Award. So it uh, couldn't be a better combination. And if you know around the township, a lot of the folks who are members of either uh, the uh, American Irish uh, groups or others, there's a, lots of Italian and Irish kind of mix there, uh, among other groups. Uh, it kind of makes it pretty special. And so I'm really pleased that she's our, our honoree today. Uh, and so we want to first start off by asking uh, Mary to come up uh, and accept our resolution, our acknowledgement. Mayor, come on up. And we have resolutions here from the state uh, and from the, the township. Mayor, if you want to read your proclamation. Sure. Joe stole my line. I was going to say how confused I am that Mary's here when she was just at the, honored by the Irish last year. Uh, whereas, State Senator Joseph F. Vitale and the Knights of Columbus Colonial Council 6571 announced and introduced Mary Ann Natal, a third generation Italian American who traces her history to Campania, Italy, and celebrates her Italian heritage through her close knit family that continues to honor their Italian culture and traditions. And whereas, Mary Ann Natal, has devoted her career as an educator with the Woodbridge Township School District of Moby Street School No. 1, receiving honors such as Teacher of the Year and the Governor's Teaching Award, and has remained an active member of our community involving herself in PTAs, Island Giants and Softball Associations, and the American Irish Association, and whereas the Honorable Marianne Natal is announced as Ms. Italian America on the observance of the 20th Annual Woodbridge Township Italian American Heritage Celebration and is hereby recognized for her achievements and contributions to the Woodbridge Township community. Congratulations. Mary, also have a proclamation from the Senate General Assembly of the State saying a lot of the same things and even more great stuff about you. Uh, and again, thank you for being such a great citizen of our community. And, uh, and a leader in your own right, and for helping us celebrate our heritage today. So thank you. Thank Gary. you. Thank you, Senator Vitale, Mayor McCormick, and all dignitaries here today. Good afternoon, everyone. I am so excited and honored to be Miss Italian America for Woodbridge Township's 21st Annual Italian American Heritage Flag Raising Ceremony. 
This recognition means so much to me. I would like to thank all my family and friends who are here today. Special thanks to Kerry, Allison, Vinny, Dave, my two precious granddaughters, Sophia, Olivia, and my cousin, Denise. This is a family honor for all of us. I know my Italian dad and Irish mom are so happy for me. The two of them and all my other guardian angels are watching and with me today. I am so lucky and proud of my last name, Natal, especially when I tell people it means Christmas in Italian. Once again, thank you for this honor and congratulations to my fellow honoree, Charles Tavermina. Thank you. I neglected to introduce some other elected officials in the audience in the red shirt back there in the corner, Councilman Greg Ficarra. And next to him, <laughs> next to him is former Councilman uh, in the First Ward of Woodbridge, now Middlesex County Commissioner, Charlie Kenny. Uh, from our Board of Education, Dan Harris was here at the start. I'm not sure if he's still here, but Dan Harris, let's hear it for Dan, the Board President. Okay, now for the Italian American Heritage Man of the Year, whereas New Jersey State Senator Joseph F. Vitale and ISA Columbus Council 6571 are proud to introduce Charles Fideli Tarvermina. A proud, go ahead. A proud Italian American whose roots trace back to Ribera, Sicily, and who embraced the American dream by having settled with his family in Island and Colonia since 2002, where he worked for county plumbing for over 50 years and is a longtime member of the Ribera American Italian Cultural Society. And whereas the Honorable Charles Fideli Tavermina is announced as the Italian American Heritage Men of the Year on the observance of the 20th Annual Woodbridge Township Italian American Heritage Celebration and is recognized for his contributions to the Woodbridge Township community. Congratulations. Congratulations, Charles. And Phil is here and your wife. Uh, good afternoon, sir. It's good to see you. Uh, reading your, your, your biography a little bit, and uh, you also served our country in the Army, uh, as did my father. And I think about you know, my parents and my grandparents who came over from uh, my father's side from Italy uh, back at the turn of the other century. Uh, and uh, my grandfather, who worked for the city of Newark, and he was in charge of following the horses around with a shovel. Uh, so he had, uh, that's a lot of what happened with immigrants back in those days. They had you know, very basic jobs, but they had to work to support their family. And, my dad had four brothers and two sisters, uh, and so it was a big, big Italian family in Newark, and they all went on to have careers of their own and lives and families. And, uh, and I think all of us think about our relatives, whether it's Italian or otherwise, uh, and our heritage going back, and what that means to us, and how we got to where we are today, and the contributions that fairly Italian Americans made uh, to this country. So, Charles, you're one of those great men, and I want to thank you for accepting this award uh, and uh, being our Italian American Man of the Year. So thank you, sir. Um, thank you all on behalf of my father. Um, that Irish Italian thing has a lot to do with that Catholic thing. <laughs> Sophia, you stole the show. No one's going to be able to be as good as you. Um, I'd like to uh, thank you on behalf of my father for this award, mostly because of my brother in law sitting back there, Ezio Tamborello, who made this all happen. Um, and I, I'd like to say to you that I've never really considered my father great men. Great men have uh, legacies. My father's legacy is sitting right over there with them grandchildren of his. And they have monuments built to them. And they, they make movies about them. My father is a very good man. And a very good man often puts uh, others ahead of himself. And that's what he's done his whole life. Everything we have is because of him. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so very much on behalf of my family.
If there's any former honorees for the Italian American Heritage, now we have Ezio Tamburello, former honoree. Anybody else, please stand up. Uh, Peter Barcelona. Who's there? Who's that? Who you? you got Julia Tamburello. And where's Ezio? There's Ezio in the back. Okay, congratulations to all of you. To all of you. And now I guess we're going to move our way outside for the flag raising. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Deacon uh, Peter Barcelona, former honoree from St. Anthony de Padua Roman Catholic Church in Perth Ambler. Let us pray. God of both the land and the sea, God of all creation, God of our fathers. We gather today to remember and give thanks to the one who truly exemplified the Kendu spirit, a spirit that generations of Americans have made their own for hundreds of years, that can do spirit, one which defies that it couldn't be done and then simply did it. The discovery of this great land of ours, America, is precious to us. Today, as we celebrate our Itali Italian heritage, we recognize that we come from different cultural, ethnic, religious, and social backgrounds. We are bound by the ideas of freedom, liberty, and justice committed to a society and a world where all people can live their lives in peace and hope. And Father, we ask your blessings upon those who have served our nations, those who made the ultimate sacrifice, and those who are currently serving to defend the freedoms of this great nation. We pray, Heavenly Father, your blessings upon today's festivities, as not only to honor the courage and the wisdom of past, but to look to the future guided by your justice, your mercy, and your love for all. We ask this in your holy name, amen. Yeah, thank you all for coming out. Thank you, Peter, for uh, your service as well. So yeah, we have, we have some refreshments in the hall, and let's all go outside now and, and celebrate uh, our heritage by raising the, the flag. Thank you, and singing our national anthem. OK, we'll now have the Italian national anthem. Oh, we're doing it first? American first. American first, followed by the Italian national anthem.
Okay, thank you all for coming, and please go inside. It's the only time in your life that Joe Vitale is going to treat you to food. <laughs>